All right, so someone emailed me and said, Daniel, we need you to do a little bit harder recipe. So no more of this easy panchan stuff, step it up. All right, well, we can step it up. We're gonna do sujebi today. Uh, it is a traditional Korean uh, soup. I, I went on to Wikipedia to see how they describe it and it was a hand-pulled traditional dough soup. So we're gonna do a dough soup. You know, when I think about dough, I think about the Pillsbury Doughboy and, and every commercial, someone's poking its belly button and it's going wee or something like that, all right? Shall we step it up? Let's go. This is one full cup of flour. I put in a third cup of water and I'm gonna slowly mix it around. You'll see the dough start to clump. It's gonna be quite sticky, but you keep mixing it around. At this point, I'm gonna go in with my hands. It will start grabbing all of the extra dough in the mixing bowl. I've sort of kneaded it and I've squeezed it, punched it, whatever, for about uh, two minutes. And what you'll see is dough is still sticky. You see that sticking to my skin, but it will still come off and stick to the ball. I'm going to put this dough in some plastic wrap, then we'll let it sit in the refrigerator for one hour. So let's start off with some kombu, which is kelp, K-O-M-B-U. So we're going to use about 2 by 2 inches or 5 by 5 centimeters. Alright, next we're using dried anchovies. We're going to use about 15 of these. These are sort of the medium sized ones that are used for making broth. We open it up. And then you have the innards, and we just pop that out with our hand. So this is all skin and bones. Very flavorful. All right, guys, that's more or less 15. We'll put it in. Um, we have some daikon here, and uh, we'll cut this in half. So these three ingredients here is like the holy trinity for Korean stews and soups. Five standard cups of water into this pot, and I'll pour the water in. All right, and let's bring it up to a boil. It's been about five minutes, so we're going to take out the kelp pieces. Now we're going to let it cook for five more minutes. So the next five minutes is up. We'll turn off the heat, take it out. And what you'll see is that the color has slightly changed. Zucchini, about second crease on the finger. Cut it into squares, then into strips. Then we'll put them aside in a bowl. So I'm using a potato that's the size of my palm. We need two of these. Put them in half. It looks better in the soup if they're uneven. There we go, we have our potatoes. Lastly, we'll cut some spring onions. So now we're going to put this back on high heat. All right, when the water comes to boil, we're going to put in our potatoes. So now I took the ball out of the fridge and I'm kind of going back and forth with it. You can rip off a piece. We want to stretch it out so that it's not too thick. Ooh, this is so much fun. So something like this and we just toss it in. And we might want to put this on a medium heat if you're new because you don't want all the water to evaporate from the soup. Throw it in. And have fun with this, guys. There's really... There's no real right or wrong way. Guys, look at that piece. Mm -hmm. Once all the pieces are fully cooked through, we're gonna put a half teaspoon of salt to flavor this. Next, we're gonna put in our zucchini slices. Put about a half teaspoon of minced garlic, half a teaspoon of soy sauce. All right, guys, there it is. Let me show you how it came out. Take out this one. That thickness when you can almost see light go through it, that's the thickness we're looking for. Some of them came out too thick. You see the width right there? That's too thick. Take that piece. We'll take a bite. Mmm. Very good. And the broth is just perfect. This is exactly what you'll taste at the restaurants. Again, guys, I have to remind you, if you're going to make this, the key thing is to get those um, hand pulled pieces as thin as possible so if you put it up against the window and light goes through it you're in good shape like funfetti <laughs>